Hello, welcome to Homerati. I normally start with Tommy with our check-in, but let's start with Adam today. Well, I'm probably the most exciting person here. <laughs> I did this huge travel to Victoria this weekend. <laughs> oh, whoa. So for those who don't know, which is most people, Victoria's the capital of BC, and uh, I went there for a friend DJing at a feather, or le feather. <laughs> at a feather ball. Ooh, a feather ball, no, a leather fetish rough party. So it was a good time. They do some sort of shows at all of them, so they did this like bondage rope scene, and I hung out with the two guys who did it afterwards, mm -hmm. and hearing them tell the story of doing it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my oh, entire life. Like, it's this aggressive scene, yeah. and they're like choking and they're yelling, and then they're sitting in their hotel room afterwards, and I hang and they're like, Am I okay? Did I hurt your nipple? Were you fine? Like, I was trying to be really sensitive. He's like, Girl, that was so fine. Thank you for being careful. Girl, well, girl. And I, I'm, I'm feminizing it a bit because they're, they're quite nice and they're masculine guys, but they were so nice and cute to each other. I'm like, if the guys in the audience could Heard only them. hear this, they would never have been jacking off in the audience as they would yeah. have been. So it was awesome, it was a good time, the party was neat. Our friend Landon DJed and it was a good time. So good. Victoria is boring as I love Victoria. Do you? Every time I go, I mean, I love Victoria because every time I go, I get really drunk. Well, there's nothing else to do That's there. That's it, yeah. so. I mean, the architecture's beautiful. There's like two streets. I'd rather You see myself. it once, you see it all. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my update is a lot more boring. I've had a very tame month, actually. I've been doing Sober October, which you know, which is driving Adam crazy. Anyone and on your me. Facebook knows, oh, so. Whatever. I posted about it, whatever. But um, also, I had my parents staying with me for a week. Um, my mom was here for some medical tests and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But it was good to spend time with them. I don't get to see them very often. So I've been hibernating at home, hiding from the rain. And and you, last week, said you were going away on a trip and you literally just got back today. I got, actually, I got back this morning at 3 a.m. from my first trip to New York. It was 10 days long oh, and it was, it was so great. Um, we did so much, like we made a list of everything that we did and it was like four pages long. So I saw a bunch of shows, I saw Chicago and Hedwig, which was amazing, and Lion King, which changed my life. Is someone in Hedwig right now? Someone Andrew important? Reynolds is, okay, so it was, it was Neil um, Patrick Neil Harris, Harris. Right. then it was Andrew Reynolds, he's a guy from Girls, the okay. gay boyfriend from Girls, and then, Taking over like three days after I got back is Michael C. Hall, Dexter. Oh. So when I found that out, I was pretty upset. <laughs> um, and then like we did Central Park, Empire State Building. Uh, we went to a bunch of the bars and stuff, and some great DJs and stuff were in town. But the ground jewel of my <laughs> trip, the Eagle. No, I didn't go to the Eagle. Oh, Central Park. <laughs> oh, we went to Central Park too. The Friends did. thing. Oh, okay, that was actually yes. really really cool. But. I got to go to a taping of Wendy Williams, and before I tell you about it, we're gonna throw to a clip right now. So I'm gonna throw this way, right? Yes, okay, go to a clip of the Wendy Williams show. Um, anyway, so Nick's package was in the clouds, and that happened over the weekend. Am I the only one who looked? I looked. Did you, did you look? Clap if you looked. Oh. Are you, are you interested in seeing these men's naked? Just not his. Yes, exactly, sir. thank you. Thank you. And to me, thank you for bringing your honest A-game. But you know, for me, my thing is that- So. Screen time. Like I got screen time. Yeah. So we get there. I mean, everyone who knows me knows that I love this woman more than anything. She is, I mean, before we ever come to this show, I always watch her show to catch up on everything. Um, so we got there super early. We dressed like really, really To nice. the nines. Like yes. to the nines, yeah. because all the people in the front will always have to look the best. How did you get front row? They place you. So the, the difference is, is like we got there really early because okay. I know that they placed people, but I didn't want to stand at the back of the line of because then you would miss out. So we got there early, we had our breakfast, we get in line, and thank God the girl I went with, Anna, my best friend, um, she was wearing these really great shoes, and the people who were taking our tickets were like, wow, great shoes. <laughs> and so we got in and we got to the front row, and I was like, it's because of the shoes. She's got you on. <laughs> so yeah, so she was talking about the celebrity nude um, photo leaks and talked about the guys, and everyone was like, ew, no, I don't want to see it. And I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. Shocking, yes. And the craziest thing was how fast her studio cameras, like, Spun around to me like these things are huge cameras. Do you right? know oh. you're being filmed? Oh yeah, okay. like there's the you, you absolutely know. So they were like filming her on the other side, and then as soon as I started clapping, they like whipped these things around and got me, and I was like, okay, this is it. I'm I on. Ah, I gotta on. like do it. <laughs> and it was it was really fun. And um, the best part was afterwards, all of the queens in New York who saw it at ten o'clock that I knew, like, oh my god, we saw you on Monday. And That's... then everyone from Vancouver was like, oh my god, we saw you. It was the best moment That's of cute. my whole trip. Um, but, okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna segue from Wendy right into gossip yeah. because when I was there, she talked about Teresa and Joe from Houses of New Jersey and their sentencing. Um, well, they got sentenced. Yeah. And yeah. it's not cute. 
It's not tiny. It's not, and it's and it's it's intense. So it's what? Him first, and then yeah, no, right. it's her first. Okay. Oh really? So what's happening is um, they got sentenced for all of their like thirty nine counts of fraud. And everything. And uh, and the judge was like ruling, and and when they sent in. Um, all their final uh, audit, I guess? Is sure. that what it's, yeah, they omitted like a whole bunch of stuff. And the judge is like, we've seen this yeah. on television. Why right. did you omit this? Oh, like furniture and all that furniture, stuff. Furniture, yeah. the jewelry businesses, and store, jewelry. And she's nice. like, well, it's all costume jewelry. She's like, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> and I really like this judge because she was talking about, she's like, no nonsense. And she was talking to them and she's like, I wanted to give you guys, like she was gonna give Teresa a house arrest yeah. or something so she could stay with the girls. But she was like, no, you need to be made an example of. So Teresa gets 15 months. Uh, she serves it first. January 5th, she has to um, check in. Check or? in. What's yeah. the word? Surrender. Uh, surrender. Surrender. And then uh, Joe is going to stay with the kids. And then as soon as she's done, Joe goes in for 41 months. I think Nuts. it's 41. Three and a half years. Yeah. Three and a half years in jail. Good. So is this going to be one of those situations where they go in jail and they leave like Lindsay Lohan does no, like two days later? No, I, I, I have a feeling that this judge is actually going to kind of lay the law down. Do you remember when Paris went in jail and then got let out and the judge was like, ah, uh, yeah. no, yeah. go back? I think that they're actually going to stay in jail. This is so publicized. I mean, she's oh, yeah. like one of the biggest reality stars and they push her on this show and they have it on the show. Like yeah. I watch the show, you guys don't really watch it as much, but... It's on every episode. They actually, as far as I know, pushed the reunion show just to be have it after her sentencing mm -hmm. so it could be brought up. And like Andy Cohen is this queen bitch who is just wanting the drama. And <laughs> well, it's of hilarious. Course. Like it's it's really sad that that is super publicized because they are going to jail yeah. for fraud and we still kind of make them stars. But I mean, Joe, and when they're done, Joe might get deported because he's not a legal he's citizen. He's Italian, yeah. So that's, it's it's really, into those poor children, oh, those poor kids. I mean, they're rats, but you can't take a child. Yeah, they're yeah. parents and it's not their fault. All right, well, that's all we have for gossip. When we come back, we're gonna move on to music. Welcome back, we're moving on to music now. And first up, we're gonna check out Jesse J's new music video with 2 Chains called Burn It Up. So I'm really, really, really excited for Jessie J right now. Like she really hit the nail on the head, first of all, with the first single, Bang Bang, with Nicki and Ariana. The video wasn't the greatest, but the song is good. Yeah. This song is fantastic. It's hot. Yeah. This video is hot. Yeah. Except I don't ever want her to do the middle slick ponytail. <laughs> uh, because she looks a little bit like a dinosaur. But when her hair is down, she looks hot. And like I'm surprised that I wasn't expecting you to say that because last time we talked about her, you guys were like, she looks like a drag queen. I haven't talked yet. So yeah. no, I mean, she, and like I had no idea she could dance like that. That yeah, was actually crazy. that was good. Crazy. Yeah. So I really like this video. I really like this song. I have a feeling she's gonna pop off with this she album. She's got an incredible voice. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I loved her voice in the last song. I hated her look. She looked like a man. She is gorgeous. I, am she, right? I had to Wikipedia to make sure she was the same person. <laughs> like that, that, that bang bang video. She, and even when she performed it live, she looked really, really ugly. Ratchet. Like yeah. she, That's not how she looked. I remember her always being like softer and really pretty. And like, I think it's because her hair is always pulled back. Like when she did Domino, she had the like bob and it was like loose. She was really pretty. And yeah. like in this video, she's hot. Gorgeous. Like, she's hot. And it is a club song. Oh, like, yeah. This is going to be playing for months. And how about 2 chains? <laughs> okay, this Steve Urkel wanna be like, I don't understand his look. I don't know anything about his music. I know people who like rap. I guess he's a rap artist. Yeah. Well, he's a popular rapper. He's but huge. He just like seemed out of place in this video. Yeah. Like the way that they put him in. I, don't I know. mean, like, because all the guys are so hot and ripped, and I thought he was the black she was he was the black guy that she's dancing with. Mm. And then he comes that's on what, with like no, that's what, up. that's what I originally thought too. And then he rapped, I was like, oh yeah, that's how he looks yeah, like. He's not cute. Yeah. So I I'm sure he's a great singer. He doesn't even wear two chains. It seems like he's just wearing one. I did not even get this name. <laughs> It's too straight. Another for us. audience, yeah. So. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next video. It is a video from Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett. So I want to go, like, 
Tony Bennett did that what with Christina Aguilera, right? They did some duets. He's done it with Gaga ago. too. Before. Okay. No, so he had he did an album where he did a song. Uh, a different song with a different artist. Like oh, he did Gaga and okay. Christina. I think he did some guys too. I don't know, whatever. But they, um, so uh, Gaga and Tony Bennett released a full album of just the two of them together. Okay. It cheek to cheek. Cheek to cheek. Yeah. It debuted at number one. It's selling like hotcakes. <laughs> and the thing I love about this album, and I mean this video and any other video, is there are no gimmicks. Okay. Yeah. She, I mean, she'll throw on a wig and it'll be kind of funny. Like she did. Um, Cher. She did, uh, she did the song Bang Bang. It was, yeah. you know, she looked very Italian and she had a red leather suit on. And I was just like, you know what? Why don't you do a tour like this? Like she's so great that she doesn't need all of that yeah. nonsense. So when you put her with someone like Tony Bennett yeah, and it's real. like voices and really great music, like that's, I mean, that's why she's she's so famous is because she's such a great singer. Her talent is undeniable. Yeah. Okay. It was a little dramatic for me and certainly like this well, video. I haven't watched her, so like she's crying and he's doing his little crooner thing and I'm not some like 50s Tony Bennett fan. I don't even know when, what era he's from and I'm he's sure old, like he's so old. old. Like and I know, understand the music's like deep and it's just emotion and it's raw, but oh my God, I was bored to death for this you thing. Need to so, watch, okay, yeah. Then you need to listen to some of the other stuff that you might recognize in some of the other like videos. It's really, yeah. it's a really great thing and okay. I mean with the, I mean, with the flop of art pop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm with Tommy. I, you know, I loved art pop, but it didn't do well. Yeah, I'm with Tommy. Like, she can get a lot, like, quite annoying with all of her gimmicks, but she this doesn't need makes to. you remember why she's so talented. Sure. Why, you know, she deserves the respect. And I also like jazz music in the fall anyway. So it's Me a too. good time. It's yeah, kind of fun. Like, and I want them to do a Christmas album. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> yeah. I don't. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have for music. We're going to move on to movies now. And first up, we have the trailer for Fury. So what you're here for? Best gunner in the entire Ninth Army in that seat. Now I got you. I started this war killing Germans in Africa. Now I'm killing Germans in Germany. I promised my crew a long time ago I'd keep them alive. Why are you here? He kills you, or you kill him. I need you to perform. I can't do it! Yes, you can. I cannot watch another World War II movie. No. Like, I put this on because the names are so big in this. It's a Brad Pitt movie. It's With probably Shia LaBeouf. Huge... Oh my God, they're still giving him parts. Do you know what? I will say, I was looking forward to talking about this because he's been in the media lately. He was on Ellen, he was on um, some late night show, and he has changed his sort of perception right now. Like probably he, of course he's medicated. medicated. No, he's but a movie coming yeah, out. Really. No, but I think like he would still be a douchebag. It would be transparent, but he uh, he's genuinely like apologizing for how he was. He realizes he was an idiot and I you think know, I don't know, I'm giving him another chance. His problem as opposed to Amanda, his problem was alcohol. Yes. Like his and he behavior was yeah. totally alcohol related. So it just stopped drinking and cuz he's a great actor. Like I really okay. like him yeah. as an actor. Um, the one that the the one kid that I love, Logan Lehman, um, he was uh, Percy Jackson, and uh, okay. he's in. He was in Perks of Being a Wallflower, and now he's in a movie with Brad Pitt. That kid is like hot. Right is now. he? He's the lead in this, right? Or like the kid who drives he's the, the tank? He's the kid who drives the tank. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, and I saw that, I was like, whoa, way to go, Percy Jackson. That's I'm, a big role for him. Yeah, yeah. let's really be honest. Great. None of us are gonna watch this movie in theater, though. I'm not, I'm not even it. gonna watch this movie ever. No. I might watch it at home, but yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of war movies either. But this one, I mean, given the cast, I think I might give it a chance. I but guess. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Brad Pitt. Oh. oh, really? Oh, I think I he's like great. I mean, he's not really that sexy in this. He is like, what, 54 now? I don't yeah. know. He's up there. I, I would absolutely still do it. So call me. I mean, but so would I. I mean, it's just <laughs> of course he like would. his movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next trailer we're going to check out is St. Vincent. <laughs> this is my tree. You're wrecked. Stay here. I'm calling the cops. Is everything okay? I'm Maggie. I guess I'm your new neighbor. So? Well, we're moving in. This is Oliver. You can lead us all in morning prayer. I think I'm Jewish. Good to know. Sir? Take me, God. Don't play with me. I was wondering if I could use your phone. My house? I can watch the kid after school. I can do $11 an hour. Let's go! Here's a dime. Call your mom. Cost more than a dime. All right, here. Cost more than that. Call collect. Well, that looks hilarious. I was worried. I'm like, Bill Murray. Wow, pull him out of the back of the drawer, but... He like he'll rip out a like yeah. what was the one with Scarlett Johansson, Lost in Translation. Lost in yeah. Translation. And like he got nominated for an Academy. I mean, it was eight years ago or whatever. But, but he does one once every like eight years, yeah, yeah. and they turn out to be great. And there's I'm, buzz for this for him as well. For yeah, Oscars and well. I'm really excited that Melissa McCarthy is not doing her like blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah a thing. new character. Yeah. You know what I love about this is you know all the rumors about Ghostbusters, and then she's a rumored 
cast member of Ghostbusters, and now he's there. I'm like, oh, yeah. this oh, is that's cool. cute. Oh god, of course. <laughs> you'd be excited about that. The jokes are they land in this. Yeah. They're not overly forced. The kid is not too like brilliant seven year old. Like he's yes, he's a real kid. His lines are good. It looks like a genuinely like funny movie. I love movies with an old man and like a <laughs> child like becoming friends. It's just so, it's so cute. I love when he was mowing the dirt. Yeah. That was the best part. It's cute, I'm, I'm excited for this one. Me and too. again, like different roles for these people. Yeah. He's always some curmudgeon because he's like 70 now, what is he supposed to do? Yeah. But it's a perfect part for both of them. Yeah, I'm into it, definitely. All right, and the last film we're gonna check out is Birdman. Hey, what's up? Why don't you try to rest a little bit? Face it, Dad. You're doing this because you're scared to death, like the rest of us, that you don't matter. And you know what? You're right. You don't. Baby, can you understand me now? Sometimes I get a little mad. Don't you know no one alive can always be an angel? When things go wrong, they seem to go bad. Listen to me. I'm just a you are the original man. Let's make a comeback. That's what I'm talking about. You're a bird man. You are a god. So another thing that I actually forgot to mention in my um, What's New is another reason I went to New York was for New York Comic Con. And I'm so glad that this is on the list mm. because I was um, actually at the panel with Michael Keaton and Edward Norton talking about this. I just caught the end of it. So um, this movie is, is Michael Keaton. He was Birdman and he played the character I think in like three movies yep. in the movie and then he didn't do it in the fourth. Hello, <laughs> art imitating life, Batman. Um, and the two of them were talking about the movie and it, it actually looks Pretty decent. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's gonna be great for him. I mean Michael Keaton is such a big star at these conventions. Because really? of Batman. Because of Batman okay. and now because of this, like he's everybody loves him. So yeah, I'm I, I think this will be pretty good. Definitely. I mean he's like a Bill Murray throwback. Like where the yeah. Michael Keaton been for yeah. 20 years as yeah. far as I know. I, I honestly I didn't put together the Batman thing, but it's oh. so obvious. I was getting caught up with um oh, whatever that movie is with like the 60s comic book characters that recently came out, and I thought it was one of those like lame characters. Watchmen? Like, yeah, just because the Birdman, Watchmen, and it's, right. the costumes are so lame, it was related to that. Yeah. I didn't catch on, but it looks good. Yeah. Um, what's her face is in it, who we love from Emma Stone. Yeah, Emma Stone yeah. is amazing. And Naomi Watts. And so like huge names, yeah. and yeah. it's cute, and I love that it's like meta. I love those movies who are aware of themselves. Like it's this, it's art doing real yeah. life yeah, type thing. So life. it was really neat. And then this trailer tastes. Twist. Like it goes from realistic to like, is he having a breakdown? Is these things happening? So yeah. I want to see what they're doing with this movie. Yeah, definitely. There's huge buzz about it at New York Comic Con, so yeah. definitely gonna see this one. Should be good. That's all we have for movies. When we come back, we're gonna move on to TV. Um, before the trip is officially over, are you sure there isn't anything else you wanted to maybe like ask me or whatever? I'll pop some champagne, or we could sit, or you could kneel. Should that be more comfortable? <sighs> champagne? I don't know. What are we celebrating? How expensive that trip was? Hey yo! <laughs> no, I'm exhausted. But you have at that champagne. Have at, girl! <laughs> I can't believe you didn't propose on this trip, Jake! There, I said it. I said what everyone else has been thinking slash asking me for the last five years. Where is the damn skinny girl? Annie, turn around. Welcome back. We're moving on to TV now, and that was just a clip from a new show called Marry Me. And this is, as you would it's say. It's essentially a sequel yeah. to Penny's life on uh, Happy, Happy Endings. Endings. And what's her name? Casey Williams. Wilson. Wilson, her name is, her right? name is Penny. We're her name is Penny. Penny. Let's be honest. Yeah. She is this character. Like. I would like her eventually to do something else, but she's so good at this, and she was no, cut. She could do this for yeah. the. I love this. She's so funny. And like in happy endings, she's always hitting her head, and in this one, she's <laughs> always hitting yeah. her head. This is like a mini spoiler because you're going to see Gone Girl tonight, but she pl basically plays herself in Gone Girl as well. Gone Girl yeah. has a character like she this. Has, like, this crazy neighbor. And oh my she's gosh. Yeah. Penny. It's hilarious, and she's just so. Like, she's, she's ridiculous. She's so funny. And for people who are like single and a little quirky, which is so much of us in yeah. different situations, you're like, that is so me <laughs> on a Tuesday waiting to get a call back from that guy. Yeah, so the whole trailer was like how she wanted her boyfriend yeah. to propose, and she's like, I can't believe you didn't propose on the trip. And she insults like all of his friends, yeah. his mother, daddy. She's like, turn around, and she sees the ring, and all of the people she insulted walk out. It was so 
funny. I was watching, I'm like, I know Tommy is laughing right now. Oh, this is I, so your humor. No, it's so, like, when she took out the champagne and someone jumped out <laughs> of the closet door and she ran into the wall, I threw my iPad against the wall. It was so funny. This time of year, there's always so many new shows that start and get canceled. I don't think this one will get canceled. I don't want it to. You know what, if this, I mean, this is by the same guy who did Happy Endings, okay. which, like, I was reading about when it got canceled, it was the, like, worst idea for them to cancel that show because, like, that show was brilliant. Yeah, Happy absolutely. Endings was so good. So if this is kind of like in the same vein, I think it's gonna have a really long life. It's so, I mean, it's got Penny in it, and I just want all the other people to guest star. <laughs> and it's NBC, so they have money, so let's push yeah. it and keep it. Yeah, I really like it. All right, next up we have another new show called Constantine. Before you checked yourself in here, you were working as an exorcist and master of the dark arts. That says master, does it? Well, I should really change that to petty dabbler I hate to put on as. It's time to face the truth. There are no demons. Miss, this is not my problem. Ah, bollocks. I'm addressing the entity inside. Hear my words! So the character, he's like, he's a mage, and he deals with a lot of the demons and stuff. And um, again, at New York Comic Con, this was a huge deal. There was like a poster like five stories high about it. Um, I think this looks fantastic. You know what? Okay, I hope this is fantastic yeah. because remember when we were talking about Gotham? I hate Gotham. Hmm. I think it's awful. Really? Oh wow. So this one, I really hope this one um, kind of hits it out of the park for DC. The one thing that is kind of sucks about it is Constantine is bisexual, but they're not gonna say that. Oh, that's mm -hmm. annoying. Yeah. That would have been nice. I, I love the movie and I've actually seen this episode. They kind of pre-released it, but it was in mm. a like a pilot cut. Mm. So it wasn't amazingly done. Seeing the trailer. Had, like, the, like, the yeah, code. and like insert flames here at some point. So it was a really budget <laughs> version. But like the trailer, you can see how much money yeah. they're throwing into this. There's like some actors, no one's hugely famous, so you're not taken over by the power of yeah. the star. I just have to wonder how much faith NBC has in it if they put it on Friday night. Well, I was thinking about that too, but I don't think this is really a like Tuesday night show. Yeah. It's kind of, it's probably gonna be a little bit more for the uh, scary people that stay at home. I was gonna say yeah, it's for virgins who have nothing better to do yeah. except play Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So or yeah. Or know that. <laughs> or masturbate. I don't know. But I, I love this kind of movie. I loved, or sorry, TV show, and yeah. I did love this movie. So I, I, re I yeah. really hope it's good. Like, I really hope Fingers it's crossed. good. It's, yeah, we're going we're gonna to see. All right, that's all we have for TV. We're going to move on to gay news. And first up, we have some really good news, and that is a federal judge has ruled the ban on gay marriage in Alaska unconstitutional. Take so. that, Sarah Palin. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we up to? God, I should know the number. It's something well, like. Well, there was a big one. Like, while I was in New York, there was a huge, like, five states. Yeah. I was like, yeah. whoa, this is, like, going up. I want to say, like, 33 or something. I don't know if it's something huge like that, but they're, they're like, they're domino effects yeah. coming yeah. through. Yeah. And people, like, the city of Alaska, or rather the state of Alaska, is now trying to reverse it, which is so annoying, and they're throwing money at this useless cause. Yeah. Just let us get married, Jesus Christ. But people, these little lesbians yeah. are in line, it's a, it's waiting for their immediately. Like, yeah. people are getting married already, so. Yeah. Although they have, like, a three-day wait, but people are just excited and going for it. And, again, another state, and it's yeah. Sarah Palin state, too, which is one of the which best. Is the, which is, like, it's like chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> and the last item for gay news is a show called Don't Quit Your Gay Job Season 3. I don't know if you guys know about it. I actually totally forgot it was premiering. <laughs> <laughs> Our show. Our show. Well, I, I didn't even realize it was already October 20th. But, yeah, it premieres um, October 20th, which is coming fabulous. Up. Which is coming up. I think it's actually... On right now. On right now. Why aren't you watching it? Or after that. So yes, we uh, are doing the third season. Yeah. Tommy and I are doing five episodes. Yep. I won't say all the jobs. <laughs> we can say the jobs. Well, let them find out. Okay. It's pretty exciting. It's I'm, really I'm excited good. to see it. Although I was really fat when we were filming, so don't judge me. <laughs> I wasn't. <so. laughs> all right, well that's all we have for today's show. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Bye! Oh my god. Wow, that's really terrible. That's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> no, I need to stop saying I'm excited about seeing it. I keep saying that. That is ridiculous. Yeah. We need to cut this from our editing. So what? What? I it's my line. I'm excited to see it. I need something better. <laughs> it's his like, let's cut to. I need oh, something yeah. more original. Yeah. Different. Never seen it. Let's throw it to. We've got a lot to talk about today. Yes. <laughs> but first, let's throw it to. You haven't. I always listen to it. No?